Welcome to Math with Mr. Stocks. In this video, we're going to talk about the difference between an independent and a dependent event. So this is dealing with probability. So here we have first an independent event. So this is when two things happen and when the occurrence of one event does not affect the probability of the other event. So this is where things uh, don't affect each other. And a dependent event, this is when the occurrence of one event does affect the probability. So it changes the probability of the second one, where the first one doesn't change the probability. So let's look at some examples. Okay, so here we got some marbles. We got four blue, three red, and five yellow. So it says, if Mike pulls one marble out of the bag and puts it back, then Stephanie pulls another marble out of the bag. So is that an independent or dependent? Well, Mike has this to choose from. And since he puts it back, Stephanie has the same thing to choose from. So this would be independent because it's put back. It's the same probability. Now, if Mike pulled the marble out and kept it out, and then Stephanie had to choose from what was left over, there would be one less marble. So that would change the probability for Stephanie. So then it would be a dependent event. So it depends on what happens first and if that changes the probability for second. Now it can be two separate probabilities so you could have the probability of someone flipping a coin and somebody spinning a spinner. Well the flipping the coin and the spinning the spinner don't affect each other. So even though those probabilities are different they would still be independent because the probability of flipping a coin does not affect the probability of what you get on a spinner. Let's look at the n another example here. All right, we got a list of paper topics to choose from for a paper for class. Must be a small class. So it says Mark chooses a topic from the list to write his paper about, and no one else in the class can use the same topic. So is this independent or dependent? So Mark has this list, he chooses something, let's say he chooses fossil fuels. So we cross out fossil fuels. Now if someone else, the next person comes along and chooses, well guess what? They don't have the same number of options to choose from. So that next person has to choose, has one less to choose from, so it has been changed. So this is dependent because what the rest of the people get to choose from depends on what the first the person before him the people before him choose on so that's another thing to look at is if it depends on if what your probability is depends on the other probability that means it's going to be dependent if your probability doesn't depend on what the other people have done that means it's independent here are some key things to look for this isn't all possibilities but here are some key things if it's dependent basically if they don't put it back in replace it or we call that with replacement. If the item gets used up, such as once they picked uh, the topic, it was used up, it was off the list, or if the change of group size happens. So if there's a smaller amount than originally, then that's going to show a dependent. Now, some independent. Flipping a coin, as long as it's a fair coin, okay, those are going to be independent because it's always the heads or tails. A spinner, the spinners don't change. So whenever you use spinners, that's probably going to be, um, you know, most of the time always going to be a, a, an independent. If you put the item back, those are some key things. So remember, dependent is going to change most likely, or it depends on something else happening that will change the probability. Independent means the probability is going to stay the same no matter what. 